Welcome to another inspiring episode of our podcast. Today we dive into the profound message found in Romans chapter 12 verse 11 which asks us not to be slothful but diligent. Join me as we explore the significance of serving God with passion and the transformative power of a fervent heart. In the bustling city of Singapore, known for its productive workforce, we encounter a surprising statistic. 8 in 10 Singaporeans don't clear their annual leave. While this dedication of work is commendable, it raises a crucial question about our zeal for serving God. The sloth is something that really characterizes many, many Christians. Now you may ask in what ways? Well, we are slow when it comes to getting started anything spiritually. That may be a symptom of slothfulness. You might have said this many times I want to read the bible more I want to pray more and I have started that before but now I have slipped off you about it halfway maybe today you are serving the lord you are teaching sunday school you are doing ministry for the kingdom but you are going through the motions your heart is not there you have no passion for what you are supposed to do those are the signs of slothfulness that can come into our lives. Do you want to live a life like that? No. All of us recognize that Christian living is to be higher than that. We are not to be sloths. We are to be a people fired up for God. You say then, how can we get there? How can we be a people passionate for the service of our king? When we contemplate the sacrificial love of Jesus on the cross, our hearts are stirred to serve him wholeheartedly every act of service no matter how mundane becomes an expression of love for our savior just as jacob labored for 7 years under laban's deceitful rule for the sake of rachel our love for jesus compels us to serve with unwavering devotion to overcome slothfulness and serve with passion we must look to the examples of zealous servants in the scripture Paul in his relentless pursuit of Christ exemplified fervent dedication to the gospel likewise Elijah's fervent prayers ignited spiritual revival in his generation as we come to the end of this episode i challenge you to evaluate your spiritual fervency take a moment to assess your commitment to prayer bible study and serving others ask god to reignite the flame of passion within you so that every act of service becomes a joyful expression of love for him let us pray heavenly father we know serving you with passion is not merely about external actions and it is about the condition of our hearts we pray that the gospel takes root in our hearts and fuels a fervent desire to serve him wholeheartedly help us to cultivate a spirit of fervency and zeal in our walk with you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for joining us in this episode of crosswalk may you be inspired to serve god with renewed passion and fervor bringing glory to his name in all that you do till we meet again god be with you god bless you